rocks ever since I was a little boy. And uh, that was about 80 or 90 years ago. So, and, uh, anyway, I did lapidary work and mineral collecting first. And in 1960, I started, <clears throat> I wanted, figured out I wanted to uh, do some carving. So our dentist had passed away and his wife called one day, wouldn't know if I wanted his machine. So I bought the machine from her and uh, I started using it. It didn't last very long. It wasn't made for that kind of work, the dust and everything. So uh, anyway, that's what got me started carving. And, uh, and that was, it's been over 50 years now that I've been carving it. So uh, I've enjoyed a lot of it. Yeah and the carvings I've done. Some of them kind of got to be a drag, but um, most of them turned out, you know, pretty pretty good, so. Well, how would you pick your stones? How would you decide what you were going to carve? Uh, most, a lot of times I'd have a certain rock that I thought, well, maybe something, and I'd try to think of something that would fit in there right, so you get the right color. Like, uh, I had a picture one time of a jaguar, and I got a, uh, a piece of uh, what they call it. Let's see. I think it's a jasper. It's got spots and stuff on it. it comes out of Mexico, mm. and it looks just looks an awful lot like a jaguar. So anyway, I carved carved one out of that, and it turned out pretty good. So. Uh, I've worked an awful lot in quartz and, and mostly in jade, though, I guess. But uh, uh, in the case, uh, there's the first carving I ever did was a little vase and, uh, with a flower in it. And then the next one I, was probably that uh, golden eagle out of the smoky quartz. And then the next one is a a horse's head that I carved on a clear quartz crystal. So, uh, quartz is real easy to carve. You just got to be careful how you pick your material. Now, uh, isn't quartz harder than jasper? It's all the same. It's all the same? Yeah. It's about a seven? Yeah, about a seven and harder, yeah. But it's, see, clear quartz is, is very easy to carve. There's no impurities or anything in it. Mm. It cuts real easy, so not you know it's not real soft, but you know, but uh, it does cut pretty easy. So, so would you say that the stone speaks to you? That you look at it and you see you see something in it, and then you carve what you see. A lot of times, yeah, I do. I'll, I'll find a stone, and I'll think, well, maybe I'd make a good elephant or something like that. The color was right, you know. Mm -hmm. And you, so uh, I'll use it and uh, use it for that. And I try to, when I get done, I don't like people having to guess what I made. I made. So they, they can look at it and tell what it is. So, you know. Can you even begin to count how many awards you've won? A lot of them. So, do you actually live here in Taylorsville? Yes. And how long have you lived here in Taylorsville? About uh, 33 years. 33 years. Where are you from? I was born and raised in Idaho. Mm -hmm. I came down in World War II to go in the Navy. And uh, after I, <clears throat> the war was over, I went back home and I entered the University of Idaho to study geology. Was that in Idaho Falls or Pocatello? No, it's Moscow, Idaho. Oh, it's Moscow. In the northern part of Idaho. Okay. Yeah. And then I came back to California and instead of following geology, I just kept that as a hobby because I got off a good job in the state of California as a NCEF fighting fire. Mm -hmm. And I stayed with him for 30 years and retired from the state. So, but, uh, but I was able to, you know, 
carry on Remember, my the, hobby and stuff all the time. I was a district well, ranger, in charge of a huge area, a lot of pit personnel. Yeah, you know, that, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been a good life. <laughs> Well, your carvings are certainly beautiful. I'll, I'm going to put the camera on those and get those in there, too. They certainly are quite phenomenal, the detail on them. Just beautiful. That's just only a small part of it. I've got just as much at home, probably more, as I finished up. I finished up six different pieces last winter alone, so... Wow. And I showed them at the Reno show this year. Yeah, I went to the Reno show. Uh, how, how long has the museum been here? I opened this room in 2001, I think it was, or two. Wow. Uh, it's very uh, impressive. I, I built this room and uh, got paid for it. And a lot of the club members helped put the thing all together. And then uh, I uh, donated my collection to the uh, museum. It's outstanding work, Francis. Oops, dropping my glass case. Just going to get some close up shots here of this case. Let's see. Walrus, that's something. And what is this jade carving here is of the fish? What kind of fish are those? Little dolphins, you mean? Are these dolphins? Yeah, and jade. Yeah. Yeah, New Zealand jade. Nice. And what kind of stone is the squirrel? Jade. That's jade also. There's a lot of jade in there. A little bit of obsidian. And a few other pieces of different material. That horse's head is something. Primarily it's quartz and jade. And is that the Liberty Bell? Yep, most certainly is. That's Wyoming jade. That looks like yeah. a black jade. And yeah, the Bucky Horse is black jade, and the polar bear is white jade. And a lot of these come out of Butte County. Oh, that's a beautiful piece of rhodochrosite. So that came out of Argentina, that golden eagle. That's, right. yeah. that's something. And the smoky quartz, where did that come from? I have to read, oh, Plumas County. That cowboy, look at the detail on that. I'll get more on the other side. So you said this vase was one of the first ones that you carved? Yes, that was about the first, first piece I ever did. It's a turquoise vase. Got a rose in it. Rose quartz. Have you ever carved any of the lavender rose quartz from no. Frenchman's area? I've, I've got some of it. I've been thinking about it, but I haven't. I have never got started at it yet. Well, that's a pretty impressive polar bear. White jade, wow. Butte County. That's mahogany obsidian? Excuse me, I'm sorry. 
I think in this room there's rocks. And then, um, is it always 30 feet, or do you want to write that? About 30 feet. No, just leave it blank. Leave it blank, okay. And it may change, it may not. Okay, so is there anything else that you want to... Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's it. We're actually film. I'm filming it. Oh, are you? Oh, okay. I got an interview with him, and then I'll put it on my Facebook page. Mom's been trying to get me to come out forever and a day. Ah. So finally, we decided to. Would you mind posting it to the museum's Facebook page? Not at all. All you have to do is give me the link, and we're good to go. It'll start out on Facebook. I mean, on YouTube. 